It's so necessary to life itself, so useful, and so much a part of our everyday routine that we seldom think about how much goes into getting water from here to here. At the Metropolitan Utilities District, we're proud to deliver an endless supply of safe, high-quality drinking water to your home at a price that's among the lowest in the Midwest. For our customers, it's simply a matter of turning on the tap. But it wasn't always that easy. As a young city, Omaha didn't have a drinking water system. In the 19th century, people pumped water from home wells, and if there was a fire, they'd rush to the water stored in cisterns below the streets. A lot of people discussed a water system over the years. However, between the mayor, city council, and various citizens groups, no one could agree on the right method. After the beautiful new Grand Central Hotel burned down in 1878, Omahans knew they needed a better system. A private group called the City Water Works Company was formed the following year. The city's new water system began with construction of reservoirs at Omaha's Walnut Hill and a pumping station on the banks of the Missouri River at Burt Street. In 1881, water was flowing. However, the growing city soon realized it needed a larger pumping station. So land was purchased eight miles upstream near the town of Florence and construction began. It took more than 100 people nearly two years to finish the beautiful Minnelusa pumping station. The two-story limestone building was designed in the Richardsonian style of architecture. A five-story tower graced the front of the building, and a few years after it opened, a fountain was built in front of the building. While all this progress was going on and the people of Omaha were getting used to the luxury of flowing water in their homes, politics was still playing havoc with Omaha's water system. Finally, after a couple more name changes, management changes, and a political tug of war, the Nebraska State Legislature created the Metropolitan Water District in 1913. In 1919, the legislature also assigned responsibility for the politically embattled gas system to the Metropolitan Water District. In 1921, the name was changed to the Metropolitan Utilities District. Today, MUD is recognized as a leader in the water industry. You need only turn on the tap to enjoy a life-sustaining resource. Clean, safe, high-quality water. It's the ultimate trust. A trust we've earned. We serve customers in Omaha and several surrounding communities. We operate three water treatment plants. The Florence Water Treatment Plant in North Omaha, the Platte South Water Treatment Plant in Sarpy County, and the Platte West Water Treatment Plant west of Omaha. The three facilities form a triangle of reliability, assuring our customers an adequate supply of safe, high-quality drinking water. Our water treatment facilities use the most up-to-date and sophisticated equipment. Repeated testing in state-certified laboratories at MUD and the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services ensures that your water surpasses every requirement of the Safe Drinking Water Act. All testing rigorously follows precise procedures established by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. A visit to the Florence Water Treatment Plant will give us a look at the four steps used to treat our water. Sedimentation, clarification and softening, disinfection, and filtration. At Florence, the water begins its journey through the plant at the intake station. An estimated quarter of a million gallons of water flow by the intake station every second. Large screens travel vertically past the intakes to keep out debris and fish that would damage the large water pumps. These huge pumps deliver the river water to the south end of the plant to the pre-sedimentation or pre-sed basins. For the next 48 hours, the estimated time the water will be in the treatment process, gravity will keep the water moving downhill. During the first step, sedimentation, water enters at the center of each pre-sed basin and is skimmed off the outer edge. The heavier sand and mud settle to the bottom and are returned to the river. This step is not required at the Platte South or Platte West plants since water comes from underground wells. As the water leaves the pre-sed basins, it collects in an underground pipe and flows through another settling basin and then to the primary treatment basins where step two takes place, 
clarification and softening. Here we add alum. Alum acts like a magnet causing fine particles of silt to cling together, become heavy, and sink to the bottom of the basins. Lime is also added here to reduce the water's hardness by removing some of the natural minerals. In step three, disinfection, we add chlorine in precise amounts through automatic feeders. Chlorine destroys the bacteria in the settled water. This step is vital to ensuring the health of our community. As the water leaves the primary basins, it's blended together in basin three. A small amount of ammonia is then added to form chloramines. This additional step reduces disinfection byproducts, improves residual disinfection throughout the distribution system, and ensures that we continue to surpass safe drinking water standards. Additional settling takes place here and in the next two basins. From these large basins, the water flows to the filter plant and step four, filtration. On its way to the filter plant, we add a tiny amount of fluoride to help prevent tooth decay, as required by law. Missouri River water already contains a small amount of natural fluoride. We add a closely monitored amount of fluoride to the finished water to bring our fluoride concentration up to a level of one part per million. In the filter plant, water flows into filter beds and travels through 30 inches of anthracite and sand. Tiny particles are trapped between the grains and the clean water is collected from the underside of the filters. These filter beds are cleaned every 120 hours through a process called backwashing. During this process, the flow of water is reversed, washing away any accumulated particles in the filter beds. Except for chloramines and fluoride, we remove every chemical used in the water treatment process. Now, the water is ready to be pumped into nearly 2,800 miles of water mains. Just before it leaves the plant, our chemists, biologists, and lab technicians test the finished water to ensure that it complies with all state and federal drinking water standards, just as it always has. In fact, our labs test the water throughout the treatment process in the plants and continue to test it at different points throughout the water distribution system. All this to make sure every drop of water from your tap is clean and safe to drink. Finished water is pumped into the system by high service pumps. In the higher elevations of the city, booster or repump stations help eliminate low pressure situations during peak usage times. There are 14 pumping stations in the metro area. In addition to covered basins at the treatment plants, we also maintain four covered reservoirs with a total storage capacity of 91 million gallons of water. Altogether, the district operates a water system capable of supplying up to 334 million gallons of water a day. Because water is a precious resource, there are ways you can protect the quality of water we enjoy. More than one million tons of hazardous waste from products used around the house enters the waters of our continent every year. To protect water quality, do not flush drugs down the toilet or pour them down the drain. Do not dump waste into storm sewers. Take household waste and medications to Under the Sink, the Omaha area's hazardous household waste facility at 4001 South 120th Street. For more information, call 444-7465 or visit www.underthesink.org. Take household batteries to a recycling center or reduce your need for disposable household batteries by using rechargeable batteries. Donate unused paint to community groups or take to a recycling center. Recycle paper and plastic it takes a plastic container 50,000 years to begin to decompose. Plant flowers, trees, and grasses and other natural buffers to reduce water pollution. Reduce the use of fertilizers, pesticides, and toxic cleaners. As rainwater passes through the ground, it takes pesticides and fertilizers with it, which can contaminate water. For more information on source water protection, call Keep Omaha Beautiful 444-7774 or visit www.keepomahabeautiful.org. 
It's always a good idea to use water wisely. It's a small step we can take now to make sure there's plenty of water for future generations. And the next time you turn on the tap, consider what goes into bringing you that refreshing glass of clean water and all the people at MUD who made it possible.